What would you do if you won the lottery? If you know how to crack the lottery code, stay tuned to find out how one philosopher managed to do just this. Please subscribe to our channel. The lottery is a game of chance. Well, at least that's what most will tell you. A world-famous philosopher and writer, if alive today, might tell you something different. While you may recognize the name Voltaire from the world of philosophy and the art of the written word, he had more earthly ways of accumulating a fortune. He was a fan of a new craze in Europe called the lottery, but he was more than just a gambler. He was a thinker. So, being a thinker, he thought deeply about this new game. As he pondered it, he saw a huge hole within that could be exploited by someone with a bit of bravado. But not only did he think about it, he made it happen. Repeatedly. In fact, it made him quite wealthy. Most might imagine a philosopher being poor like Socrates or Diogenes the Cynic, but not Voltaire. He took a more French approach to philosophy, with fine wines and an estate attached to it. I know what you're thinking already. Stop blabbing and tell me how he did it, so I can rig the lottery too. Patience. Before Voltaire can teach your first lesson on lottery rigging, the game of his day must be explained. The lottery, in Voltaire's time, was not quite the same as the modern lotteries we know today. It was a burgeoning concept in the 18th century, designed to help governments and other organizations raise funds without directly taxing the populace. The French government in particular was fond of this method, and in 1729, the French Royal Lottery was established. It was an ingenious idea. Participants would buy tickets, numbers would be drawn, and the winners would receive substantial prizes. The allure of sudden wealth drew in many hopefuls. However, the lottery was not just a game of luck. Voltaire, with his keen mind and sharp intellect, recognized an opportunity within the system's design flaws. This opportunity came about thanks to an oversight by the lottery organizers. The French government decided to hold a series of lotteries where the prize money was significantly higher than the price of the tickets. The aim was to encourage more people to buy tickets, thereby increasing the government's revenue. However, the scheme backfired in a way they could not have anticipated. Voltaire's path to riches began with a collaboration with a mathematician named Charles-Marie de la Condamine. La Condamine, like Voltaire, was a brilliant thinker, and together they discovered that the structure of the lottery could be manipulated. They noticed that the lottery offered a disproportionately high payout compared to the cost of the tickets when a specific number of shares were purchased. In essence, by buying enough tickets, they could statistically guarantee themselves a win. They formed a syndicate, pooling resources from friends and other investors to buy up large quantities of tickets. The strategy was simple yet effective. By purchasing an overwhelming number of tickets, they increased their chances of winning the top prizes. This approach ensured that their combined investment would yield a significant return. The key to their success lay in the mathematical certainty they applied to the lottery. Voltaire and La Condamine used their knowledge to calculate the exact number of tickets needed to statistically secure a win. They understood that while individual ticket purchases were a gamble, a large-scale purchase spread across many tickets reduced the risk and tilted the odds in their favor. Their scheme worked remarkably well. They won multiple times, accumulating substantial wealth. The French government, initially oblivious to their strategy, eventually caught on. However, by then, Voltaire and his associates had already profited handsomely. The authorities investigated, but there was no law against what they had done. They had simply outsmarted the system within the boundaries of the law. Voltaire's success with the lottery is a fascinating case of intellect triumphing over luck. It highlights the power of strategic thinking and collaboration. But beyond the immediate financial gain, this episode had a profound impact on Voltaire's life and work. The wealth he accumulated allowed him the freedom to pursue his philosophical endeavors without financial constraints. He could afford to write, publish, and distribute his works, which often contained sharp critiques of the establishment and championed the causes of civil liberties, freedom of speech, and separation of church and state. In this sense, Voltaire's lottery success was more than just a clever exploitation of a flawed system. It was a means to an end, 
providing him with the resources to influence and shape intellectual thought in Europe. His writings, made possible by his financial independence, would go on to inspire revolutions and reforms, leaving a lasting legacy on Western philosophy and society. However, Voltaire's lottery adventures also offer a broader lesson about human nature and the pursuit of wealth. They reveal how people can use their intellect and creativity to navigate and manipulate systems to their advantage. In today's world, where complex financial systems and markets exist, similar principles of strategic thinking and risk management apply. Investors, entrepreneurs and thinkers continue to seek out and exploit opportunities, sometimes bending the rules, much like Voltaire did. The story of Voltaire and the lottery is a testament to the enduring human quest for wealth and the ingenuity applied in that pursuit. It challenges the notion of luck as the primary determinant of success in games of chance. Instead, it underscores the importance of knowledge, strategy, and the willingness to take calculated risks. But let us delve deeper into the mechanics of how Voltaire and his syndicate operated, and how these principles can be understood and perhaps applied in various contexts today. Voltaire's success with the lottery was rooted in a fundamental understanding of probability and statistics. While lotteries are often viewed as games of pure chance, the reality is that they are governed by mathematical principles that can be analyzed and to some extent predicted. In the case of the French lottery, Voltaire and La Condamine identified a critical flaw. The prize payout structure was such that if a person or group bought a sufficient number of tickets, they could guarantee a win. This was because the total value of the prizes was greater than the cost of purchasing all possible ticket combinations. To exploit this, they first gathered a group of investors willing to pool their money. This syndicate approach allowed them to amass enough capital to buy large quantities of tickets. By purchasing a significant proportion of the available tickets, they effectively increased their odds of winning to near certainty. The key calculations involved determining the break-even point, the number of tickets they needed to buy to ensure that the winnings would exceed the cost. This required a detailed understanding of the lottery's rules, the number of tickets issued, and the distribution of prize money. Voltaire and his team meticulously worked out these details, ensuring that their investment strategy was sound. In modern terms, this approach is akin to hedging in financial markets, where investors take positions designed to offset potential losses. By spreading their investment across many tickets, Voltaire and his associates minimized their risk and maximized their potential return. It was a sophisticated application of risk management principles long before such concepts were formally defined in economics and finance. Voltaire's approach to the lottery can be seen in various modern contexts. For example, in financial markets, hedge funds and investment firms use complex algorithms and strategies to identify and exploit inefficiencies. They analyze vast amounts of data to find patterns and opportunities, much like Voltaire and La Condamine did with the lottery. Even more so, the idea of forming syndicates or investment groups is also common today. Whether in real estate, venture capital or stock markets, pooling resources and sharing risk remains a viable strategy for achieving financial success. These modern-day equivalents operate on the same principles of collaboration, strategic thinking and risk management. However, there are important ethical considerations to keep in mind. While Voltaire's actions were legal, they raised questions about fairness and manipulation. The French lottery was intended as a means of raising funds for the state, and by exploiting its flaws, Voltaire and his team effectively diverted money from its intended purpose. In today's world, similar ethical dilemmas arise in financial markets and other areas where strategic manipulation can occur. Insider trading, market manipulation, and other forms of unethical behavior can undermine the integrity of systems designed to be fair and equitable. Regulators and policymakers continually strive to balance innovation and opportunity with fairness and transparency. Voltaire's story serves as a reminder that while intelligence and strategy can yield great rewards, they must be tempered with ethical considerations. The pursuit of wealth, whether through lotteries, investments or other means, should not come at the expense of fairness and integrity. 
Voltaire's success with the lottery had a lasting impact on his life and legacy. The wealth he amassed provided him with the financial independence to pursue his intellectual and philosophical endeavors. He became a prominent figure in the Enlightenment, using his resources to support causes he believed in and to disseminate his ideas. Voltaire's writings, funded in part by his lottery winnings, challenged the status quo and advocated for civil liberties, freedom of expression, and the separation of church and state. His works, such as Candide and Letters on the English, criticized religious intolerance, oppressive governments, and societal injustices. He became a voice for reason and progress, influencing generations of thinkers and reformers. In this sense, Voltaire's lottery success was more than a financial triumph. It was a catalyst for intellectual and social change. It enabled him to contribute to the broader movement of the Enlightenment, which sought to apply reason and scientific thinking to all areas of human life. Voltaire's ability to navigate and manipulate the lottery system was a testament to his intellect, but it was his use of the resulting wealth that solidified his place in history. The story of Voltaire and the lottery offers several valuable lessons that can be applied in various contexts today. Here are a few key takeaways. Strategic thinking is a multifaceted approach that encompasses the ability to see the big picture, anticipate future trends, and identify opportunities that others might overlook. Voltaire's success with the lottery is a prime example of how strategic thinking can transform a game of chance into a calculated endeavor. By meticulously analyzing the structure of the lottery, he was able to devise a method that significantly increased his odds of winning. This type of strategic insight can be applied in various domains, including business, finance and personal development, to achieve remarkable success. At its core, strategic thinking involves a combination of critical analysis, creative problem-solving and forward planning. It requires individuals to step back from immediate concerns and consider long-term objectives and the broader context in which they operate. This broader perspective enables the identification of patterns, trends and potential opportunities that are not immediately apparent. Voltaire's success was not achieved alone. He formed a syndicate, pooling resources and knowledge with others. This collaborative approach is equally important today. Whether in business ventures, research projects or creative endeavors, working with others can amplify success and mitigate risks. Collaboration is a powerful tool that can significantly enhance the chances of success in any endeavor. Voltaire's achievement with the lottery was not a solo effort. It was the result of a strategic partnership with like-minded individuals, forming a syndicate that pooled resources, knowledge and skills. This collaborative approach is just as vital today across various fields such as business, research and creative projects. By working together, individuals and organizations can leverage the strengths of each participant, share risks and achieve outcomes that would be difficult if not impossible to attain alone. Collaboration creates synergy where the collective output is greater than the sum of individual contributions. This is achieved through the pooling of diverse talents, perspectives and resources. In Voltaire's case, collaboration with Charles-Marie de la Condamine and other investors allowed them to combine their financial resources and intellectual insights, making it feasible to buy a large number of lottery tickets and effectively increase their odds of winning. Voltaire used his financial success to support his intellectual and philosophical pursuits, contributing to the Enlightenment and advocating for social progress. This highlights the importance of using success and wealth responsibly, making a positive impact on society and advancing knowledge and justice can create a lasting legacy. For instance, individuals and organizations today can follow Voltaire's example by investing in education, supporting scientific research, and championing human rights. Philanthropy and socially responsible investments can address pressing issues such as poverty, climate change, and inequality. By dedicating resources to initiatives that promote the common good, successful individuals and businesses can help shape a better future, fostering a society that values progress, equity and innovation. This approach not only enhances the well-being of others, but also ensures that success is meaningful and transformative, leaving an enduring mark on the world. Voltaire's adventures with the lottery 
are a fascinating blend of intellect, strategy, and opportunity. His ability to exploit the lottery system not only brought him wealth, but also enabled him to pursue his broader intellectual and philosophical goals. This episode in Voltaire's life demonstrates his keen analytical mind and his ability to recognize and capitalize on systemic flaws, turning a game of pure chance into a calculated and almost certain victory. The success he achieved through this endeavor provided him with the financial independence needed to devote himself to writing, philosophy, and advocacy for social progress. The lessons from his story are timeless, offering insights into strategic thinking, collaboration, risk management, and ethical considerations. Voltaire's story is not just about winning the lottery, but about how he approached the challenge. He did not rely solely on luck. Instead, he employed careful analysis and strategic planning. By partnering with Charles-Marie de la Condamine and other investors, Voltaire was able to pool resources and share knowledge, turning a risky venture into a secure investment. This collaborative approach, where multiple minds work together towards a common goal, proved to be a key factor in their repeated successes. Moreover, Voltaire's ability to assess and manage risks ensured that the potential rewards justified the investments made, minimizing the likelihood of significant losses. His ethical considerations, while potentially controversial by today's standards, remained within the legal bounds of his time, showcasing a delicate balance between clever exploitation and moral restraint. In today's world, where complexity and opportunity coexist, these principles remain relevant. Modern society is characterized by rapid technological advancements, global interconnectedness, and multifaceted challenges. By applying the lessons from Voltaire's experience, individuals and organizations can navigate these complexities with greater efficacy. Strategic thinking enables one to see beyond immediate obstacles and identify long-term opportunities. It involves meticulous planning, foresight, and the ability to anticipate future trends. Collaboration remains a cornerstone of success, as diverse teams can bring together a wide range of skills, perspectives, and resources, leading to more innovative solutions. Effective risk management is crucial in a world where uncertainties are ever-present. Understanding and mitigating potential risks can prevent disastrous outcomes and secure sustainable success. So, while rigging the lottery in the literal sense might not be possible or ethical today, the underlying principles that guided Voltaire's success can still inform and inspire us in our own pursuits. In the realm of business, strategic thinking might involve analyzing market trends to identify underserved niches or leveraging technological advancements to create disruptive innovations. Entrepreneurs can form strategic alliances and partnerships pooling resources to enhance their market presence and operational capabilities. In finance, investors can use sophisticated models and algorithms to predict market movements and manage their portfolios more effectively, while also ensuring they adhere to ethical investment practices. On a personal level, individuals can adopt strategic planning in their career development, setting clear goals and identifying the steps needed to achieve them while also seeking mentors and collaborators who can provide guidance and support. Furthermore, the blend of intellect, strategy and ethical responsibility can lead to meaningful and lasting achievements across various fields. In academia, researchers can use strategic grant writing and collaboration with other institutions to secure funding for groundbreaking projects. In the public sector, Policymakers can employ strategic thinking to design and implement policies that address complex societal issues, such as climate change, healthcare, and education. Ethical considerations are especially pertinent in today's world, where actions and decisions can have far-reaching consequences. By ensuring that their strategies are aligned with ethical principles, individuals and organizations can build trust, maintain their reputations, and contribute positively to society. Voltaire's story also emphasizes the importance of leveraging success for the greater good. His financial gains were not just a means to personal luxury, but a way to fuel his intellectual pursuits and support causes he believed in. Today, successful individuals and organizations have the opportunity, and arguably the responsibility, to use their resources to make a positive impact. This can take the form of philanthropy, social entrepreneurship, or corporate social responsibility initiatives. By investing in education, healthcare, 
environmental sustainability and social justice, they can help address pressing global challenges and improve the quality of life for many. In conclusion, Voltaire's adventures with the lottery provide a rich source of inspiration and practical wisdom. His story demonstrates the power of strategic thinking, collaboration, risk management, and ethical responsibility. These principles are as applicable today as they were in the 18th century, offering valuable guidance for navigating the complexities and opportunities of the modern world. By learning from Voltaire's example, we can strive to achieve success in our own endeavors while maintaining integrity and contributing to the greater good. Whether in business, finance, academia, or personal development, the blend of intellect, strategy, and ethical responsibility can lead to meaningful and lasting achievements, creating a legacy that extends beyond personal gain to encompass broader societal benefits. Thanks for watching, friend. Please subscribe to our channel. Oh, and for those thinking this can 100% win them the lottery, this is our disclaimer that we are not saying you can in any way.